You know, the beauty of uh, Christianity is that we all are so different, yet we are one. And, you know, we celebrate our differences. Today we have uh, two other young ladies with us, and we're just going to talk about that just a little bit. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thank you. Hello. So happy to have you here. Happy to be are here. Are you excited about being yes. a part of your <laughs> job model? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I see my beautiful blonde bombshell over there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, um, could you tell us your names? Your name? My name is Miranda Henry, and I'm a student at North Florida Cosmetology School. Awesome. And I'm just glad to be here. Well, I know who I can go to to get my do done. Yes, <laughs> nails too. Nails too. Oh, great. <laughs> and and my name is Sarah Fusilier. I'm a fourth year student at Florida State University, studying psychology and family child sciences. See, that's what I'm saying when I talk about differences. We have Miranda. You, you're both in school, but you're doing totally different things, and yet it's okay, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And uh, could you tell us a little bit about you? Um. I'm new to this. Um, I did modeling before, but it wasn't nothing like this. Well, and well, let's stop right there. <laughs> what do you mean nothing like It that? was totally different, like um, size, um, that height. Mattered? Did height. that matter? Did that matter? Yes. It mattered? Yes. Okay. Size, height, um, whether you was in school or mm -hmm. just your occupation in just totally different stuff and the types of clothes you wear. It had to be certain things, like mm -hmm. mostly revealed in your body. So. Oh, you had to reveal just a little bit? Yes. Well, what do you think they were trying to catch? A cold? <laughs> <laughs> Something, but it wasn't for me. It wasn't for you? No. What, 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 well, how does Christian Top Model differ for you? What, how, what do you think that's going to be like for you? I think it's better and it's totally different because I don't have to wear like undergarments that's just undergarments and just doing a show. I've had, um, it was just rough, mm -hmm. but Christian top model, mm -hmm. you can wear what you want to wear that's not revealing, uh -huh. and you don't have to be a certain height, size. You Isn't that awesome? Be yourself. You can just be yourself, and Christ has created us to be so uniquely yes. different. Exactly. And we got to celebrate that. Yes. I love that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you feel about that? I think it will take me that extra step to express m my inner beauty as well as my outer beauty. And just growth and experiences, you find out who you are. Mm -hmm. But it's the ability to express who you are and express all your beauty and not have those limitations of demographics, height, weight, yeah. you know, if it's uncomfortable or painful, then you're doing it right. And that's what beauty is, constrained sometimes, portrayed, but it's, it gives you an opportunity to be yourself. So true. Your so true self. Your true self, the one that God has created us to be, to yes. celebrate our differences. And you know, just talking to you, I know that I have discerned, and I thank God for discernment, that you're not a dumb blonde at all, but you're brilliant, and we got to <laughs> celebrate that. <laughs> I try. Yeah. You know, um, and, and I remember just having some difficulties trying to put something together, and you jump right in there and put it together like an expert, you know? So I know you're very intelligent. How does that play into your beauty? Um, I think is it okay to be beautiful and smart? It is very okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's preferred sometimes. Uh -huh. it, it's part of my personality. It's part of who you are. You know, even if you're not intelligent, you, it's, you just still glorify that because it's part of who you are. And I just think being intelligent is just like one more talent that I was given. And it gives me a chance to portray that in my personality and portray it in my beauty. And you know, just the self-confidence you are, no matter how intelligent you are, you know, can portray yourself to be as beautiful as you make yourself to be. And, and that's what it's all about, yes. Yes. celebrating each other and knowing that we are beautiful inside and out because of the special deposit that Christ has put in us. And that's what helps us to, you know, go out to the world and reach out to anyone. Mm -hmm. And yes. I mean, if a person was different from us, we're not going to shun away from them in any way because they're different. Right. Well, how do you feel about that? 
I think you should glorify uniqueness and because everybody is different in their own way and everybody is beautiful and it's just realizing that yourself and kind of being able to realize that and express that to other people and inspire other people to be beautiful I think is a gift and it's different and everyone has their own gifts and I think yes. that just difference is not negative and it should not be looked down upon I think uniqueness is special and it should be you know, honored uh, has it always been that you've always known that you were beautiful? Has there ever been a time in your life that you didn't feel like you were beautiful? I felt like that before. You felt like you have not beautiful before? Mm -hmm. Are there things in life that comes into, you know, that we've come into? Because life is real. It happens. Right. And it happens to all of us, it, and life impacts us in different ways. So has there been times in your life that you've been impacted in a way that you didn't feel beautiful? Can you tell us a little bit about those times? Yes. Growing up, I think, well, part of growing is experiences, and not every experience is positive, and there are negative experiences, especially with stereotypes and people putting you down. Mm -hmm. you know, such a big issue is bullying nowadays, like, mm -hmm. and just name calling and just like evil, you know, and, you know, everybody, I think, at some point in their life has experienced being put down in some sort of way, and I, I have felt that growing up, and just with the name calling or just being separated with stereotypes and, oh, you're different, you know, it's bad, yeah. or I'm going to place you in this category, and people... I think the biggest thing is judgment, you know, yep. it's such a big thing in society today. And that being is so true, so well said, so true. You know, I didn't mean to cut you off, but when you just, you brought up the topic of bullying, because so many of the uh, kids in school, they're experiencing bullying, and, and even in social media, mm -hmm. there's a lot of bullying that's going on, and oftentimes it causes people to take their lives. Yep. And because pe someone's judged them, just like you said, and they don't feel like they're worth living or they're, they're of any type of value. Yep. So that's, it's very important for us to recognize that, just yes. like you said, we're all beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to have both of you here today. Mm -hmm. And even as we talk to one another, just the three of us girls here talking, we're all so different from each yeah. other. Yes. You know, Miranda's a little bit quieter. And, I know. You know, she doesn't, you know, she's, <laughs> she's a little bit more, just want to absorb everything. Yes. And, and, you know, just listen. But the, your, be your, your, your beauty, your confidence still comes through, yes. even in that. So I want to thank you ladies so much for being here thank today. You. I've really thank enjoyed you. talking to you. <laughs> Yeah, my. I'm a city.